Hey guys, happy Tuesday. We've been working on our push press on Tuesdays. Uh, we've been doing relatively higher volume reps. Today we're gonna be lowering that down, working on some heavy, uh, heavier weights, less reps, okay? So for this, setup is critical here. So when we come out of the rack, okay, we wanna have the weight really sitting on our shoulders, not out in our hands like this, right? So take your time to try to mobilize and get that bar sitting on the shoulders, okay? If you watch from the side, my elbows are at about 45 degrees, okay? And when I dip down, I'm gonna come straight down into the heels before driving up, okay? What we don't wanna do is hinge the butt back like, like we do in squats. It's nice, tall chest sitting straight down. So as I drive up, I get as much power straight up as I can into the bar, okay? So if you're doing multiple reps for the first couple sets, take your time, reset, big breath. <sighs> and drive up. Try to avoid doing a push jerk when it gets heavy, okay? So you're gonna feel, at the heavier reps here, you're really gonna feel that top press, okay? And again, look at my neutral spine here at the top. We don't wanna be leaning back like this or looking up, driving, good lockout. That's gonna be our strength for today, all right? So some heavy push press. From there, uh, we're going into a fun, kind of chipper style workout. We're gonna have biking, we're gonna have uh, kettlebell swings and uh, some core work and push-ups. So the kettlebell, <laughs> kettlebell swings are gonna be overhead swings uh, as the prescribed movement or we can shorten the range of motion. So the full thing, thinking hinging the hip back and coming overhead. Okay, keeping the core nice and tight, really driving from the hips and legs. Okay, if you wanna scale this, you can do lighter weight or you can do reduced range of motion. So this is called a Russian swing. A little bit easier if you're just learning or using a heavier weight, okay? Um, from there we've got um, tuck or knee tuck. So these are kind of like a crunch version. Sitting on the floor, you're just gonna tuck, extend, try to get your hips open, and then you tuck back in, okay? Arms staying at the side, all right? From there we also have push-ups. Now push-ups are gonna be one of the biggest challenges here because it's a lot of reps. So we wanna make sure that we have that nice range of motion, ideally a straight line from the shoulder all the way down to the ankle. Every time my chest touches the floor and every time I lock out, okay? So we prefer to try to keep a straight line on this versus going to your knees. Um, so if you can, elevate your hands, okay? And you get to keep that same principle. Touch the chest, get a good lockout every single time. Okay, another variation you can do is putting a band on the rig, put it around your hips, and that will spot you on the push-ups as well. Okay, so that's gonna be our workout for today, guys. See you tomorrow.